Hey, what's up, YouTube? HBS here, Mexicus 4666. How's it going for y'all today? Today, I'm going to give you guys the deck profile. It's the one I've been sh dueling with on Discord. I was going to say dueling, but I still got Yu Gi Oh! mentality. But I've been using this deck, and I think I'm going to modify it for the regional this weekend. I don't know. But wanted to get it out there since um, now a lot of decks are starting to circulate. And want to show my build because my build is different because I am playing cards like Contoris Mine and more Spiral Masquerades than everybody else. Obviously, I'm playing Lord Night Mine because, you know, Lord Night Mine got it all that just like me. So oh, let's get into the deck profile. And basically, if you guys do not know, Lord Night Mine basically is a yellow deck. That spams out a lot of guys on the field and a lot of DP deduction, security attack minus, depending on your build, and really just DP deductions. But let's just get into it. I play four. I'm probably going to butcher these names like I used to do in Yu-Gi-Oh. I call it Kite Mine, but I think it's Kodo Mine. Four Kodo Mines. This is basically the rookie. He helps me out so much in the deck. He helps me search out Lord Knight Mine or any Knight and Holy Warriors in the deck. And you guys didn't know, I also play Contorus Mine. Contorus Mine is a Holy Knight, Holy Warrior slash Royal Knight. So I run him and Koto Mine basically on this hard play, you get to reveal the top five cards and look for Knights, Warriors, Holy Knights, and all that stuff. And then if I do hit it, I get that into my hand up to two. The rest go to the bottom of the deck. So I play four of this, like I said. And then for more rookies, I play four star bonds because DP reduction. As many Digimon you have on the field, your opponent's going to lose a thousand for each Digimon you have on the field, and you bring out Lord Nightmine, or this will be the last thing you bring after your Lord Nightmine swing to bring out something. Then you drop this and do a lot of DP reduction. Then we got, I'm only playing three poles. Basically, it's in there. Sonic the Hedgehog, draw a card, or you gain a memory, depending on what your security is. Then I'm only playing two Bushies. At first, I was not playing Bushy. Then my friend Brady, I don't know if he even watches my channel, but Brady convinced me to play this because sometimes you can swing for game with this and you really do need it. Because at first, I was not even playing it. I think I was running like four Pulsa mods and stuff in this place. But my build's more defensive, so that's why you'll see like I really don't need it. But I put it in there anyway. Then I have the one Lusamon, helps me recover. I still need three alternate arts of this, so anybody want to help me out. Then champions, I got my blockers. I got four Pytos. This is just a one drop when you digivolution, and then if you hard play it at six, but you really just want to digivolve and memory choke your opponent. Speaking of memory choking, you want to use four Teruri. Teruri can help you do the same thing. Memory choking is always a blessing. Any 6,000, so we can get over like those cards that like de digivolve and blow up 5,000 below. That's why I kind of want to play more Unimons. I'm only playing two right now, but I might up it to four. And then we got Gladiamon. I only like Gladiamon because it helps me look in my security. If I don't have PK, I get to know what's in my security. But if I do have a Holy Warrior or Warrior, I can grab it. The only reason why I like it, sometimes I do have to hard play it, but it does help. And then we got our ultimates. This one I basically usually summon out for free is Nightmon with Lord Nightmon's effect. He pretty much is an easy drop, bringing out level five. And his on play effect is on play. One of your opponent's Digimon gets minus four thousand DP. Then I play two War Ground Mines just to help DP Digi Burst too. That's the thingy. Then I play two Angel Mines. At first I was playing four Angel Mines and a. When you watch the first duel bit, I was I think I was playing four. And then I cut it to War Growl. I just thought it would help a little more. But like with these, when I was playing them, I just want to like minus, minus, minus. But all these little decks like uh Omnimon, Shoutmon, or Omni Shoutmon, whatever the fuck it's called. Red with all the security attacking. If you can minus two them and you didn't go into Contours, you can stop them from doing all that minus four stuff because you give them like minus four. Minus five, depending on how many Digivolves and stuff you get off. So that's like good. And then it's on Herbal Effect, helps me out with Lord Nightmon. But I'm starting to see like you really don't need Angelomon. I'm going to go back into a Kylomon, because that's what I was playing in the regional for BT4's last one. I was playing Kylomon and Angelomon, but that was the thing. And then I'll do Lord Nightmon last. I played three Contoris Mons. 
basically helps me stall out stuff. They're trying to punish me, and they have all these little guys out. He's like, nope. Just uh, bring this out. Negative uh, security attack two on all your opponents. Digimon up to five, and then on deletion, if they do blow up, minus 11 off or something, which is always good. Then, of course, Lord Nightmon, a.k.a. Crusader Mon, a.k.a. Spiral Masquerade, a.k.a. Fist of Athena, Royal Knight. She is perfect. I've been waiting for her. I also been waiting for Dynasmon. Dynasmon comes out in BT5. I mean, BT6. But Lord Nightmon's effect is as follows. It's the 13 hard costs. 3 to Digivolve into. 11. 1000 DP. When attacking, you may play a yellow level 3 Digimon card or a yellow Digimon card with Warrior in its type from your hand without paying its cost. So like I said, you can play... You can play your Nightmon for free because it is a warrior. You can play your Gladia because it's a warrior. And then for your level threes, like in my deck, I can play my Usamon to recover, Bushiagumon for rush and swing, Pulsemon. I can play Starmons. I can play Koto. I can play all these cards. The combo off with Lord Nightmon. And then his power grows for every other Digimon you have in play, this Digimon gains 1,000, and it stays for both turns, because it's all turn. Lord Nightmon, I do believe it's the first Digimon that has an all turns type of effect like this, so that is good, and makes people very angry when they can't kill it, when you have so many bodies out. And then for level 7s, for my Ultra Digimon, because, you know, after you go into a Mega, the next stage is called Ultra, I play two Boulder Arms. I kind of want to go to 3, like, I was playing 3 before in the previous build, and then I modified it too because I want to play more Spiral Mask Red. The Spiral Mask Red is the best card ever in yellow until I get my pre-release stamp ones in the mail this week, hopefully, when it gets here. Probably next week. But Gold Arm is really good on the... You did evolve off of... Well, combo to me personally is like, you get done with Lord Nightmon swings, you need to do a little more deduction. You bring this out. Or Contours. You freeze them and then you blow them up so then they start digivolving and they can't do nothing. So that's always good. On Digivolution, you can minus 7,000 twice off the Digimon. And then when it, when, Digivol, when it dies, you get to gain three memories. That's always good. Then for my Tamers, I play three TKs. Now, of course, I'm going to have the Bling Bling Alternate Art TKs. Which is always good. But I'm seeing people playing too. I haven't decided that yet. I'm going back and forth with it. I just like to see TK like this, like this, like this. Instantly, I want to see TK. And then, of course, the last card. Spiral Masquerade. This card is like a mini shine and gray mount that you guys do not know. Basically, main for each Digimon you have in play. Normally, I'll have a whole bunch. Activate the following effects below. Minus one of your opponent's Digimon. Gets 3,000 for each one. Basically, for every Digimon I have on the field, I minus 3,000 off something. Like Shine Grandma with each Tamer I had out, you minus 4,000. Spiral Masquerade is the same way. So, this is the deck. It helps me out, especially if it's in security and I got like four bodies and they got, I don't know, Imperial Jamon out. Spiral Masquerade, dead. Or they have like a whole bunch of weenies out and you got four monsters trying to weenie rookie rush you. Spiral Masquerade, kill that stuff. Or if your opponent's trying to set up a board and you just. Summon Lord Nightmon Swing, bring out a Digimon, and then you're still at three. Bring out a, a Pulse Mon, you have three. You've only got, I don't know, they have a Lila Mon out. Spiral Masqueraded, kill it, 9,000. What can they do? Absolutely nothing. So that's the power of Lord Nightmon. Then, like I said, there's a regional this weekend. I will be streaming on my channel. Go make sure you go check that out. It's always at the end of the video. It's in the description because people did not know I stream on Twitch. I don't have a schedule yet because I'm very really lazy with it. I haven't made one to stream when I want to. I'll most likely stream tomorrow because, like I said, I need to practice. But this is my Lord Nightmon deck, and Crusader Mind will take us out in this video. Peace.